What's up my fellow scruffy looking nerf herders and welcome to the Carbonite Chat. Today I'm going to be discussing the international trailer for Solo. Now I thought I was going to be reacting and reviewing it, but there's nothing in it. <laughs> it's just a repeat of the prior trailers we've already got, which has never really happened before with Star Wars as far as Disney's on them. Anytime that they've had an international release, the international trailer has been different from the trailers that we've gotten up to this point. This makes me wonder, what is it that's, why are they, what, what are they hiding? I think I know the answer, <clears throat> and it's a question I posed prior to the trailer's release, is that once the trailers start happening, I said I felt like that they've held off on these trailers because as rumors have come out, there was an article in GQ and that Disney's kind of given up on this film, that they're expecting this film to lose money. And so because of that, they're going to go ahead and just kind of try to sneak by, just get it over with, pass it by, and spend as little money as possible. That they're going to, because they've probably spent, you know, they think they, they have filmed like 75% of the movie, so let's just say that's, you know, $150 million spent right there. And they reshot 75% of the movie again. That's another $150 million at least. Probably 200 on each side. But that's $300 million for this movie. Then you've got marketing. Now, say they spend it, you know, typical $100 million. Let's say that they're trying to cut some of that cost because the cost was so big for production that they're sitting at around, you know, they decide to spend like $50 million. So now at $350 million of expenses. Now, there's more expenses to go into this, but if that means that if they get 50% of the box office, and I know they adjusted a deal to work out with for The Last Jedi at least, for 60% of the money from the tickets as opposed to 50%, but let's just say 50% for ease of math over everything, and that means they have to make at least $700 million to break even. To just, the, the cost of the movie breaks even at. <clears throat> The, they're predicting 900 million is what kind of the predictions have been running around that I've been seeing and that means it's only a 200 million dollar profit which is still a profit but if they add another 50 million onto the marketing budget and try to do hire someone to recut a couple trailers and try to put out all of this information and try to keep pumping out you know Star Wars is coming Star Wars is coming Star Wars is coming as they usually do Another 50 million means they got to make another 100 million at the box office, and that cuts 100 million off of their back end. So that's one thing. The other thing that I think for why they're not putting out anything else is because hiding solo is that's the reason why they think that this isn't going to work. If the rumors are true, that he can't play solo. Now, some people said when they watched the trailer, I liked this solo, I think he can do it, and that's fine each person's you know can have their own opinion i didn't think he showed anything to be with solo but here's where i kind of make my point is i said before we'll see how much we see of him if they don't show much of him then that's going to start to hint that maybe he can't pull it off and they're trying to hide him they showed a little bit really only like three scenes where He's acting like, you know, trying to act like Solo. Everything else is walking away, him sitting there, a back shot, him standing there. There's the reaction when Kira says that she's the only one that really knows who he is. There's the reaction to where he says that's a yes after Chewie. And there's the shot of him flying at the end. And which is a quote basically from Solo directly in the original trilogy. And that's it and they haven't when they did the international trailer they didn't show anything more so what I prefaced before was that because he's not if they're not showing a lot of him they have picked out if you liked him here's my argument is that they picked out the three or four of his best performances as solo and put them in the trailer and said all right yeah let's just let them see that let's that's be what we put out there 
Otherwise, why else? If this guy kills it as solo, if this guy nailed it, well, aren't you going to put that at the forefront? This is what everyone said, that this guy can't play solo. So if you want to prove us wrong, prove it wrong. Put them in there. Show them being awesome. The kid can act. He can act. You can see that from other movies. But can he play solo? I don't, I don't care. Okay, he don't, doesn't look like him. I can get over that he doesn't sound exactly like him. All right? You know, we know this is 14 years prior to A New Hope, which, you know, if you go by the Legends age, that puts him at about 16. I know there's arguments because people say Harrison Ford was a lot older. and We never got a direct age thing. And Harrison was like, you know, 35 or 36 at the point of A New Hope. But let's be real, everybody, movies always age down their actors. I mean, how many high school movies have we had where the actor is actually like 32 playing a high school person? You don't say, no, that high schooler is 32. It's not the age of the actor. I get that a lot of people put that suggestion in with Harrison Ford, but because we've got an uh, expanded universe answer for his age, which I believe is 29 at A New Hope, then 14 years prior, which is what Del Rey's released, that the movies happen between 12 to 14 years before A New Hope, then that puts him at like, you know, 15 or 16 at this point. Um, 17, 16 to 17. <clears throat> so, okay, he's not fully matured or whatever. You want to go into that route. 16 or 17, they could have got an even younger actor. He looks old for that age. Maybe they're retconning of course they, I know with the expanded universe isn't canon anymore but whenever there's not something you know when you're picking out an age uh, you know you don't think they're going to retcon that anyways I can get away with the voice but can he pull it off can he pull off that confidence with the nervous like unsure of himself and again I get that he's you know they're trying to really put out and say that he's not going to be playing that solo this is the person before and this is the story that causes him to become that person got it well, then why are you hiding him um that's my issue i want to hear y'all's thoughts like if 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 you liked the solo thing why aren't they continuing to show him if he pulls it off well the fact that we've got three trailers now with very little footage of him and that the international trailer didn't do anything with it i just it makes me kind of question and wonder. And if you were considering not watching the solo trailer, Bravo, here you go. <laughs> That's it, or the Bravo, the solo trailer. I mean, the solo movie. I would say this might, you know, this might be hinting more towards that's the right thing to do. I mean, if you were on the fence, uh, the fact that they're not wanting to show anything, if you weren't going to see it, you weren't going to see it no matter what. If you were on the fence, eh. Maybe this is time to make a stand if you want to. If you don't like what Disney's been doing, this might be your chance to take a stand and it not really matter because this is a little questionable. I'm not saying world ending, blah, blah. So don't, you know, I'm not calling that this is the you know, catastrophic ordeal. But, you know, this is the first time that some, there's a lot of new firsts in this movie. And it has to add, be asked why this is the case. But anyways, one of the other things I wanted to discuss with this is a lot of people are going to be skipping out on Solo. And there are also a lot of newer fans, most of which probably aren't following me, but uh, that have not read the old Expanded Universe. And there's been a lot of hints and discussions largely from Leland Chi, that uh, there's going to be a lot of expanded universe stuff being brought into this movie. So, one of the things I thought that we could do, <clears throat> I was going to do, and if you want to go go along and do the same thing, if you've got the books, was I'm going to start going through probably once a week uh, leading into the movie, maybe every other week. I think it's 12 weeks, and I think it's six books, so maybe every other week. Give two weeks to read a book, but um, go over the Han Solo trilogy and also the Lando trilogy, where that happened in the old expanded universe prior to the last, I mean, the last Jedi, prior to A New Hope. And for those of us that don't want 
to watch this solo movie, then we get our own solo storyline, and we you know all gone through it before, but kind of rehash it and go through it again. And for any of you that maybe haven't gone through it and would like to know what possibly could be in there, or just hear some cool Han Solo stories prior to the movie coming out, then here's your opportunity for that. So I'm going to begin to start doing that, is going through the old Legends books uh, of Solo and Lando leading into this Han Solo movie coming up. And so get an extra refresher for those of you who haven't read it in a while, and for those of you that have never read it, you know, let you have some of that information prior to going to watch Solo, if you're going to go watch Solo. Anyways, those are my thoughts. I look forward to hearing all of your thoughts down below. I'll post some of the videos up right here and a link to my two public page down below. <laughs> I'll post a link to the international trailer down below as well. Um, actually, no, I won't. Don't watch it. There's nothing in there. I was going to post it down there because <laughs> sometimes they promote your video more if you have extra YouTube links down below. Um, so I'll still do it. Don't watch it. We'll just see if it makes them promote me anymore. Probably not. <laughs> but anyways, thank you very much for watching, as always. And never forget you nerf herders. I love you.